The F4 British Championship reached the halfway stage of the 2018 season at Croft Circuit in North Yorkshire. The first race of the weekend was won by Red Bull Racing's Dennis Hauger. And here's the grid for round 14 of the championship. Partially reverse grid with Jonathan Hoggard starting on pole position alongside Jonathan Etten Simmons, who finished fifth yesterday. Paul Volton Terry and Patrick Pasma on row two. Kian Jewis, championship leader, he's on row three. Then Dennis Hauger, the man who Steve Riley said won the uh, race yesterday. Josh Skelton and Manuel Suleiman next from Hampus Eriksson and Seb Prio. Jamie Sharp and Luca Allen on row six. Row seven, completing the grid, Sebastian Alvarez and Jack Dewan. Jordan. Lights out, and we're underway. Good start by Jonathan Hoggard. They're all going to slot in. Watch as they come down into Clovo for the first time. The outside line from Etten Simmons is putting in a challenge. We've got Pablo Tonteri in third place. So they've all got off the line fairly safely, but into Clovo the first time. Let's see if anybody is making up this. Uh, Dewan already has made progress. He's passed three cars already. And he's going around the outside as he goes through turn two. Can he get through into the chicane? You can see now you've got to be so... Careful there, he's oh. going to the chicane, he's made contact. As we saw, he needs to get back on the track, easy on the throttle. He's got away with that as long as there's not too much grass in the radiators. Not sure what happened there, but we saw Jewish manage to get past Pasma. Simmons has dropped back, he's got a problem, look. Ayrton yeah, Simmons has got a problem, this looks like a DNF him, no drop scores, so this is lost points for Ayrton Simmons. Wait, now Jewish down the inside of his teammate, Tom Terry down to third. Yeah, Ken Jewish, championship leader, up into second place, and now Pasma is closing up as well. Pasma's closing in on the Mousseau battling, but Jewish is in second. And that's why Pasma again trying to go down the inside, he locks oh. up. Oh, they nearly made contact, I think they might have done a little bit. Bit of front wing damage maybe, but uh, yeah, it was a late move, but it was uh, worth trying, wasn't it? We've got uh, Dewan having a look at oh. Skelter, dives down the inside, that is Dewan doing the do again, there he goes through, up into sixth position. Oh, oh well, a big moment. Little mistake there from Hoggard, and that's the race leader, the gap's going to be less than one second at the end of this one, Phil. I was about to say, he did a 22, I think he did a 23-2, and then Jewish did a 22-8, so he was catching him anyway, so he's obviously seen the pressure, and as he's gone into Sunny, which is a little bit off camber, Oh, sorry, he's got a bit of camber, but then he goes off camber as you go uh, into Sunny Owl. He's had a big moment, and you can see now he's having to look in his mirror. Look at Jewis all over the back of him. But this is the battle for the lead. The chaser is Keir Jewis, championship leader, who's having a very good look, and he's going to go on the outside. It's a terror. Incredible move by Jewis. How did he do that, Phil? Absolutely no idea, because there's a big bump just on the left there. Actually great, but he's decided nice and early. I could see him get a good run out of the chicane. He's gone to the outside because Hoggard defended, and he just decided to go on the outside and now break it. This is absolutely superb driving from Jewis. This is all going to get a little bit messy by the looks of it. Yeah, Dewan's going to be having a look at this for sure. And just that this is actually effectively the lead group, isn't it? We've got Hogarth on Terry, Pasper, Alga, and Dewan up with the lead group. Incredible drive from him with that fastest that 122.3. The others uh, get close to that on occasion as they come into the complex once again. Is he going to tee up a move down the inside here? Did that sweep earlier on? No, he's not. Oh, oh, oh. Contact there! And that's more places for Dewan and heartbreak for Pasper and Hogarth who are out of it. A raised hand there. You can see the damage on Pasma's car. It's uh, broken the rear suspension. And, uh, yeah, it's him out of the race. Really unfortunate for Pasma. Safe to go out. We haven't got the well. uh, Model T. We've got the, uh, the Focus. <laughs> He's going to go yeah. nice and early. He is, yeah, going before the hairpin. That's Scott Street car and Peter Harris bring the safety car in. And we are racing again. And away we go. So Jewish had a two-second lead before that. Well, we've still got six minutes on the clock as they come down towards our pit wall camp. Sound awesome, don't they? They were eco boost engines doing their job nicely. But look at this double R one, two, Arden three, four as they come through the turn one into turn two. Big side of for some of them as they come trying to avoid that gravel trap through the chicane, which is flat out, trying to make it as straight as possible. But Jewis is getting away already, isn't he? Win at some point later on. Yeah, he's definitely turned it on in the last few races. Look at uh, Dewan John down the inside of his teammate. They're going to make contact. Oh. They did. They did make contact, they but they've both got away with it. <laughs> they have indeed. And look at Skelton coming back as well. So Josh Skelton, who finished outside the reverse position yesterday, 
He's up into six. Here's a replay. It's a late move. He goes down the inside. He breaks nice and late. They did make a bit of contact. He went over the top of his wheel there, but he's gone on the wow. dirt and avoided that. So that was uh, that was close, wasn't it? And look, that's brought Skelton into this race. It's a great corner, this one. You go, you see him go very sideways as they come through there. And look, there's a move. Dewan's having a look up the inside line, side by side with Helga. But it's going to be the outside as they come into the hairpin. Watch for Helga on the inside. There he is. He's still there, but Dewan's having a go. Can't quite do it. Fair play. Good try. I like this aggressive driving from Dewan. This is fantastic. He needs to prove his point here. Obviously, his teammate Helga has got the same livery as him. They're fighting for the position at Red Bull. Is he going to try and go on the outside? I don't think he'll be able to do it, but can he get a run as they go into turn two? This Having is a great a drive from doing, isn't it? Having a very good go indeed. And look how this is benefiting Todd Terry. In second, he's getting away. We're looking for third place car immediately in front. Helga's still there. He won the first race, his first proper uh, win. Having the other one uh, gifted to him. Look at the slipstream. It's working now. Helga's got to go defensive. He's now going to try and go on the outside truck like Jewish did earlier. But no, they both break at the same point. Is he going to get a cut back before they go into the Jim Clark S's? Looks like he got a little one, but not close enough. No, not close enough. This is the last lap. Jewish is in front. It was three seconds clear on the previous lap as we continue to ride with the battle for third place and do it is all over the back of Halger he could do it last knock it's a chop to know where the luck to pick up the winner or concentrate on this one but look at this do it having a very good go indeed working the wheel hard a great shot of a racing driver delivering his craft here's the race leader though Ken Jewish there Tom Terry second they've managed to very and now we've got Skelton coming into it Skelton piling the pressure on Jack Dewan superb stuff from Skelton this is going to be building his confidence big time as the race leaders come into the heaven for the last time. It looks like the place is going to be settled. It's going to be another win for Kim Jewis. Jewis is going to take a fifth win of the season. He is delighted, rightly so, with that. Tom Terry is second. Howder third. Doing a great fourth place. Skelton in fifth. Here's the result. Round 14 of the F4 British Championship. Kim Jewis from Pavo Tom Terry. Dennis Howder and Jack Doohan third and fourth. Then Josh Skelton and Manuel Suleiman. They were followed by Seb Prio and Hampus Eriksson. Jonathan Hoggard recovering for ninth, then Luca Allen completing the top ten. Eleventh was Jamie Sharp, and then Sebastian Alvarez. Problems during the race for Patrick Pasma and also Ayrton Simmons. Here's the grid in round 15 of the championship. Dennis Hauger, Pavel Tonteri alongside, then Kian Jewis and Patrick Pasma, Ayrton Simmons and Jonathan Hoggard on row three. Seb Prio row four with Josh Skelton. Manuel Suleiman and Hampus Eriksson on row five. Behind them, Sebastian Alvarez and Luca Allen. And the grid completed by Jack Doohan and Jamie Sharp. F4, powered by Ford Racing. Here we go. Wait for the lights. They're making a wait today. The lights are on now. Out go the lights. Howden gets away well. Tom Terry well too. Kim Jewish Championship leader in third place. Jewish looks to the inside line and is going to try and squeeze up the inside line into second place. Jewish is going for it. Is he going to take it into Clover? He does. Jewish is up into second place. What a start. Tom Terry was no slouch off the line, but Jewish went that well. Yeah, I saw Jewish get that jump on him. Only just though, so it was a good effort to get down the inside. He was on the dirty side as well. He managed to make it stick, get down the inside. Let's put him into second place. So this is going to be a great battle for the lead now. Let's see further back. Do it on board with him as he's got the thing that's Ericsson is it in front of him or knows it Allen he's going to try and go on the outside of him Alan. breaking into tower goes on the outside it's tricky to, you can just see oh, a little bit of contact but and further ahead as well with Pasma as well as Hubbard no sorry that's uh, Ericsson in front so yeah. let's see as they go through the Jim Clark S's look how tight it is he's gone around the outside he's run wide he's got a, pick, a lot of pickup on his tyres now but he's made that one work for him Breaking into Sunny Inn, it's a very difficult corner that one. Prio there, he's having a nightmare this weekend with a lot of oversteer. I was talking to his dad, Andy, and they're trying to dial some of that oversteer out, but he's hopefully going to have a better race. He's behind Simmons now. Yeah, so hopefully he can make up some progress, but what about this onboard then? A great choice for onboard. Look at this coming into the complex and working hard, trying to get past Patrick Pasma. Let's see whether he can. Pasma covers the inside line there. Pasma himself busy challenging and having a very good look at the inside line there. Of uh, on immediately in front of him. Yeah, Pazmet's a one tricky guy to pass as well. He's uh, he's quite good at defending. Sometimes he over defends, but Dennis Howe gets fastest lap on lap one. And into it now, and Pazma makes the move on Hold on, Very nearly throw on the inside line. And look at Doohan following through as well. And Doohan's on the inside line, and Pazma trying to go through. Hold on, Brave, you get out on the outside line. They're side by side as they cross the grid line. Cross the line to go on to another lap. And Hold has got the inside line. 
He's very nearly comes across into Doohan. He's going to try and grab the line into Clervo. But Doohan oh. breaks it out. He's in contact. He's in the gravel. He bounces. He's back on track. He Look at the buck on the tyres. Yeah, he might be able to carry on and keep that position as well. He tried to go on the outside. There was no room, so he just kept it straight. He's obviously got a no grip on his tyres now, but he's uh, kept that position in front of Hoggard. But going back to the hairpin, it looked like Hoggard was, uh, was sleep was napping there because he just... Pazma was trying to defend and he just threw it down the inside of him. So, yeah, it was uh, a pretty good move from Pazma. Yeah, good to see Prio back up towards the sharp end of this one. He's a. Uh, oh, no, oh, oh no, the skeleton takes a spin. Is that damaged? Yeah, it's it doesn't happy, look does great, it? no. So, uh, we, we would assume maybe contact with Suleiman? It could well be. He's uh, just something not quite right there. I don't know whether he's got damage on the rear of the car because it was just not pulling away as nice as it should have done. Yes, you can see the rear left is definitely bent. That's why I wouldn't go any further. It's a shame he couldn't get it back into the pits there and stop the safety car coming out. But he's going to close it up and it's going to make it interesting in the front between Hauger and Jewis. Here we go then, results of the racing after the safety car. Josh Kelton safe and well. The car is safe and out of the way now. And here we go on board once again with Duan, who's gone up into sixth place. Prio, the next target for him. So the safety car has closed things up for Duan, who's going to have a look to, on the inside to try and get towards the podium. Quite naked in race number one from the back. Started on the penultimate uh, position, and we can see Seprio right in front of him. Watch the run through Hawthorns, and then a bit of a climb up into the chicane, which is difficult to see. As we watch Prio again, defending well at the moment. Again, it's a little climb as they go up over the brow, through the chicane, on towards the back straight, which actually isn't that straight, because it kicks round towards the left before the right-hander at tower, and that might be the best bet for Dewan to try and go through up into fifth position. Oh, oh we're doing it again, he dies for it! We said it would be! Yep. Can he hang on to it, though? He's look. gone through. Where is Prio? We need to look at the out outfield chart, but it looks like he's got the move complete. Yeah, it certainly has. It was a late move. He didn't even lock a brake wow. by the looks of things. It was a fantastic late lunge on Prio. Prio did actually have it covered, but then Duan, like I said, if you leave that, that door open, we can see it here again now. Look further back. You've got Duan just behind Prio. He goes to the outside, then he dives to the inside. He doesn't even lock a front up. Absolutely superb try from Duan. Yeah, this is possible, isn't it, for two, and he's chasing him down, he's made it up. I didn't think he was going to do it in the room. It was 1, 50, 1 minute 56 on the clock and a second and a half to take out of the third place man, which he's done. Through go the chasers, into Hawthorns, into the chicane again, onto the back straight. Let's see what Duan could do. He's passed on the inside up here, he's passed on the outside. The only thing he hasn't done is driven over the top. He won't do that. Which is he going to pick this time round? He's going for the wide line as he comes down into tower. Looks around the outside line. They get very close indeed. He's going to maybe try and go for the cutback and find a gap on the inside line. But there wasn't quite room there. Tom Terry defending well at the moment. But Duan's got the speed. Has he got the race car to make just one more pass in this race? Oh, I've got a smile on my face as I'm watching this happen. Let's hope they don't make any contact. Is he going to try and go down the inside of Sunny in? No, there's no room. Tom Terry's got it covered. He's got a couple of more chances here. They come out of Sunny out. Can he get the drive out of the corner? He looks like he's got a bit of understeer. As he comes out of that corner, he's got one more place to it, which is into the last corner. He's got to get a good run through the left here without too much oversteer. Looks like he's got it covered. Haug is going to win this race. Druis is going to be second, but who is going to finish third? Yeah, that's the big question. Haug is going to bag another win, but what a sensational battle we've had between those two. I, I can see the window. He's gone down the inside. Let's look to see who got third. I think he's doing. Helga takes the win, Jewis extends the championship lead. We look back at Duan, we look across, he's got him. Duan goes through past on Terry, Duan from second last on the grid, up into a podium position. And we were on board for most of that. Lerner Silva, wonderful race direction, down the inside. Yeah, Super. I can see it out of the corner of my eye, I just looked into the hairpin. Because where our commentary box is, he's just on the last two corners. So it was, uh, I just thought I'd have a look, see if he did it, and he did. He went down the inside, superb drive from Duan. Here's the result. Round 15 of the F4 British Championship here at Croft. Dennis Hauger is the winner. Kian Drew is second from Jack Doohan and Pavo Tonteri. And then Ayrton Simmons, Seb Prio sixth from Sebastian Alvarez. Jonathan Hoggard in eighth from Manuel Suleiman. And Luca Allen completing the point scorers in tenth. Patrick Pasma got the better of Jamie Sharp for 11th. And there were problems for Hampus Eriksson, sadly, and Josh Skelton. Championship standings, Kian Jewis, 57-point lead over Ayrton Simmers. Dennis Hauger starting to close in on Ayrton. He's in third, head of Jack Doohan. Pavo Tonteri is fifth from Sebastian Prio. Patrick Pasma in seventh from Jonathan Hoggard. Then Josh Skelton and Hampus Eriksson in tenth place. Loads of pace this weekend, Dennis, and it's proven again. Yeah, for sure the pace was really good now. Uh, yeah, I just have to keep my head down and, and focus on my own driving uh, and get in the zone. And I think the pace was really good before the safety car. 
and then the safety car came out and I was like, oh shit, uh, that's, uh, but yeah, I kept the gap again uh, in, in the end and uh, the pace was really good throughout the race. Uh, and yeah, so happy for this victory and for the whole weekend, really. Kian, well done. It's not a win, but it's a second place and you've actually managed to build your championship lead as a result of that. Yeah, at the end of the day, this weekend, that's what it was all about, just stretching out that championship lead before that summer break. And yeah, we did the job. So obviously, two second places and a win today. So I'm really, really happy. And a big thanks to Double R for giving the car underneath me. That race obviously wasn't really going to be a race. Dennis had two new left side tyres, and obviously I was on all four old. So it was going to be hard work if he was going to do it. But I maximised my chances. Obviously, I done Pavo straight away at the start. But at the end of the day, the pace wasn't just quite there as what he had. But I'm really happy, and let's see what happens for the later half of the season. Jack, what, what a, dra a drive for you from the back of the grid, and that overtake on Tonteri in the final corner. Tell, about, tell us about it from your perspective. Yeah, well, um, I, was, I knew I had the pace, and it was just how many laps I had to go. I was always looking at the lap count, and then I was lucky enough to be close enough on the last lap. He defended really well into to our corner and the turn turn nine and then I got a little bit of understeer on the exit of um, sunny and sunny out just because of how close I was I thought the podium was out of reach but then lucky in the last corner he defended it well but then just when he went out to go for his regular line I just dived for the inside and took the opportunity when I could and luckily enough I pulled it off.